Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 12th, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. There's the Hawaiian Islands to the bottom left. You got what is now Tropical Storm Mario off the west coast of Mexico. It's supposed to continue its track up towards the north and west here. We'll take a look at the latest on that here in a moment. And you also got a frontal system that will be approaching the Pacific Northwest. You can clearly see it on the satellite imagery here, and it will be clipping portions of northwest California. And if I zoom in a little bit closer, you can also see what is our upper level low. It's still with us here. Produced some lightning strikes yesterday, maybe again today, and some pretty chilly weather for some of the Sierra Nevada. Some small hail, some snow pellets out there possible with some of this activity. Now, looking at yesterday, you can see we did have the one thunderstorm across northwest California, one right across the border and more up into Oregon. And we did have some thunderstorm activity across the Sierra Nevada there yesterday. This is in the last 24 hours. Now, smoke, not doing too bad unless you're right near the Garnet Fire where you're dealing with some of that surface smoke this is mostly aloft across much of the region and you know it might make for some hazy sunsets out there and maybe enhance the sunset but overall generally speaking this is not too bad and it could be much worse for this time of year and if you want a nice affordable home weather session click on that link down below to save 10 percent off to help support the channel i've got two of these i'm testing at my house they're very fun they connect with your smartphone quite easily it tells you when it starts raining at your house or if you're getting lightning strikes and it stores all the data for you in the cloud now there's mario right Right here again you can see the hawaiian islands there's baja and there's the state of california to the top of this map and so mario's right there and also this is what they're predicting tropical storm as we go on in through maybe tuesday morning but probably the biggest impact from this storm is going to bring some moisture and it's part of the monsoon moisture that will be coming up towards the state of california this could also increase some rainfall for portions and maybe some wave action here for some portions of baja maybe cabo there as well so keep that in the back of your mind if you're traveling down towards mexico or some of the other resorts down the west coast also a little bit of a tropical storm watch right now is in effect now taking a look at where we are at 15 18,000 feet, 500 millibars up in the atmosphere. It kind of shows you the general trough and ridge position. And you can see our upper level low again, kind of taking its time, moving out of the area. A little bit of a transient ridge moves through. Then the next system that I showed you on the infrared satellite imagery approaches the West Coast here. And then we're going to have this monsoon flow that's going to come back over as we go on in through next week. So that should be kind of interesting here. Shows some potential significant rainfall here across Southern California, especially for this time of year. So we'll be watching that closely on a day by day basis more on that here in a moment looking at 500 millibars 18,000 feet you can kind of see that frontal system we back that up and this is the next frontal system kind of rolling in right there and then we've got a little bit of an upper level low kind of trapped with this as well but as we go on in through next week we're going to get a bit of this monsoon moisture swinging through the area as we get these frontal systems moving through the pacific northwest kind of typical for this time of year uh, generally, as we get on in through the month of September, the monsoon season starts to cut off as we do get these mid-latitude cyclones. It kind of keeps that moisture back off down to the south, and we generally put an end to the monsoon season as we go through the month of September. So anyway, take a look at the latest European. This is 100-meter wind speed. If I put this into motion, you can see what is Tropical Storm Mario. It's really not that impressive as previous runs, but you can see it out here kind of moving around, bobbing and weaving, but not a very strong system. This is no threat at all with winds or anything to the southwest portion of the USA. Maybe a little bit of a wind and wave bump here for portions of Cabo, you know, and Baja, California, but not much to speak of. Now, if we look at the European, you'll kind of see Mario as it drifts northbound, and it could bring an increase in some of the rainfall as we go on into the end of the weekend, maybe on into early portions of next week. But then uh, what we're looking for is the monsoon moisture kind of associated with this that's going to be moving up across some of the southwest USA. And you'll wonder why tropical cyclones cannot get towards California or they have to take a perfect track and they have to be pretty rapidly moving to make landfall. We almost did it last year, got pretty close, but look at the warm water there uh, off across the west coast of Mexico, but you can also see our very cool current that comes down on the west coast of North America out of the north. Much cooler water makes its way all the way down towards Southern California. This is not cold water, but it's definitely in the greens here. You're not at the temperature where you would need to really maintain a, a, a powerful hurricane or even, you know, even a weak hurricane. It's just very difficult to do so with this cold water. So you can see if it takes this track, it's doing fine. Then it kind of hits this 
cooler water and it would just absolutely start to get ripped apart it's like putting a dust devil from a hot dusty field and just bringing it over a kind of a, a cool grassy field you know it's going to lose its punch pretty quick so if we take a look at precipitable water i'll put this into motion and you're going to get can see what is mario down there and it's kind of associated with this monsoon moisture that is going to be coming up across the state of california as we go through next week i'll show you some of these precipitation amounts here in a moment but you can see that moisture move across the area there now if we look at that precipitation amount on the artificial intelligence we'll scroll through you can see again from northwest california as we go on in through the day on sunday this is saturday night sunday very early morning we do get some precipitation it's not much um yeah fairly weak frontal system here kind of early in the season but then we look off towards tuesday night into wednesday so there let's go through wednesday afternoon there you can see some of this precipitation starting to come across the transverse range peninsula range maybe some of southern california as we go through the day on thursday see those numbers start to bump up a bit there and we go through thursday night into friday so yeah there could be some significant rainfall here we got to watch this closely it is still a ways off into the extended forecast but i noticed the national weather service offices were also starting to mention it as well so starting to gain a little bit of confidence there now taking a look at the european ensemble mean let's scroll through here this is yesterday afternoons and you can kind of see it does have that signal as we go on in through the mid portion of next week starting to bring some of that monsoon flow back up into california uh looking at total snow 10 to 1 ratio just kind of showing you that we do still have some of that stuff going on across the higher elevations just kind of giving you a heads up that it is pretty chilly there a couple thunderstorms may pop off as we go through the day today friday uh september 12th now now, here we go with daily two meter maximum temperature. I'll put this into motion and you can kind of see as we go through tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, we start to warm up a little bit on Monday, Tuesday, even more. Look at the mid 90s return. You get some mid 90s showing up for interior portions of Southern California as well. Coastal regions in the 70s, maybe towards 80 degrees also. Not too bad. I mean, not excessively hot, but we do start to warm up a bit as we go through next week and then maybe cool back down after that. We'll see how that goes. Six to 10 day above normal, really for much of the lower 48 here, including the West Coast and precipitation you can see the climate prediction center is picking up on that monsoon moisture here as we go through the mid portion of september and there's the 8 to 14 day as well actually the entire lower 48 is a prog to be above normal temperatures here or at least the chances for it are above normal and then we go to the 8 uh, 14 day uh, precipitation as well and you can see california is still included in that so not bad and also i did a hacking video yesterday i didn't put a lot into it i, I don't want to totally relive it but i just kind of went over some things that could possibly help people going through the google and the youtube if you have to reset passwords if somebody did hack your account because if you have a youtube channel and you start to get a little bit bigger apparently hackers really take notice and i've seen numerous videos i mean i i couldn't watch them all there's so many on youtube about people talking about getting hacked and trying to go through the process and getting the channel back so yeah hopefully people can learn something from mine i think i may have found an interesting way so go ahead and check out that video if you want it's on the pacific northwest weather watch channel again i didn't put too much preparation into it or anything like that it just kind of went through the motions and what happened with all that so anyway hope you guys are having a good day otherwise we'll continue to watch that monsoon moisture rolling up here as we go through next week um hopefully you guys are having a good day otherwise and i will talk to you guys later